I'd like to demonstrate a new feature on a new template that we have recently released. This is a new responsive template, and responsive, if you're not familiar with the term, simply refers to a type of website layout that responds to the height and width of whatever device is accessing the site. So if a desktop browser is viewing the site, it's viewed large, as this one is right here. Or if a mobile device accesses the site, it is displayed in a much more narrow format and everything is scaled appropriately to fit nicely on that device. So that's what we mean when we say responsive. And this new template is going to be a responsive template, but we've also added a new type of page layout with new tools and functionality that I'm going to overview. You, you might have noticed on some responsive sites, the entire home page, in a sense, acts as the entire site. As you scroll down through the page, you have sections that take up the entire width of the display. And there's different types of content, and you can have a unique background image or a background color that is preserved as you go through the page. And when I'm logged in, you can see the typical editing buttons that you're used to seeing. And as we scroll down here to one of these sections, you'll notice that it's a little bit different, the display of the editing tools. We have the arrows to move the section up and down. And then we have an edit icon that will edit the section. There are three types of sections that I'm going to go over right now. This first one that you're looking at is what we call the icon menu section. And it's simply put, a menu of icons that has different content associated with each one. So there's an icon and a heading and as you click on them it toggles the content underneath. And these can be edited simply by selecting whatever icon and content you want to manage and then click edit item and then it will open up a window to manage that content. Or new content can be added by clicking add new item right here. It opens a window, you can choose whatever icon you would like from this list here specify your text and images and content for the section and you're good to go. So I will cancel that for now. And then there are some other sec types of sections that I'll overview here quickly. One is just a basic text section. That's what this one is right here. And if I click to edit the settings here, you'll see that there are some different layout types. You can select a no image layout type or having an image to the left or to the right, whatever you'd like. I'll just switch this one for testing purposes to now put the image on the left. And you'll see here at the top there is a section name field. This is going to be used, I'll show you in just a moment, for making uh, links to different sections in the page. So this is a unique name for this section of content. I have named it uh, fitting with what the content is just so that I can remember it and you'll notice that the instructions there say to make the name unique to the page so not something that I've used somewhere else for a different section and to put no spaces in it this is just so that the functionality can work correctly so I will keep these settings the way that they are save it and the image will move to the left and then the other type of section that I'll go over is just a title section and this is simply a title and a subtitle and some content. And you notice these buttons down here are the different types of, uh, they're just buttons that have gone into the content section. I'll show you what that looks like. Click on edit and here are two buttons in the text editor. Now if you're familiar with Final Web, you'll notice these buttons are different than what you might have seen before. It's a new type of button layout that we've added that is uh, basically a responsive button is what we call it and it and it allows you to put text on the button create a color whatever you like it to be and then it lays out appropriately on mobile devices or on a desktop so it follows the responsiveness of the template and I'm going to demonstrate this with this button up here in the top section so I'm going to edit the title area of the home page here and then you'll see We've got an About Us button right here, but I'd like to add another one, so I'm going to space over just a little bit. And here is the new button maker in the toolbar. So I'll click this and it opens up the new Make a Button window. I want to link to that summer camp that I was looking at earlier. So I'm going to give it that title. I'm going to give it the light blue style and I'd like to make it large. 
So that's the style of the button, the button's appearance. Then I'll switch to action. So in this button maker, you can specify a URL. This could be to google.com or somewhere else that's external, or you can select from your pages here, like you're used to doing, and just select whatever you have, and it will create a link to a page within your website. Or we have this page section dropdown. And you notice here, I have the labels of those sections that I had created. So the one that we were looking at before was summer camp is what we had called it. And there are some of the others that are on the page. So any content section that you've added that exists on this page, you'd have access to on that page when you add one of these buttons. So I will select summer camp and click OK and then save the changes so that now when I click on this summer camp button, it takes me right to that content. Now adding new content is very simple as well. You'll see here you're used to, you're probably familiar with dynamic page, drag and drop, and we have uh, page tools that are very similar. I'm gonna select add section here, and you see the different types of content that appear. So I'm just gonna drag over a text section content and you'll see how it works. Notice that it zooms out now, so it gives us a, a better overview of the entire page and lets me know exactly where I'm going to be dragging the content to. So I'm gonna put it right here. And then we have another section like you're, you're used to working with. So I'd select the layout type, configure it however I would want it to be and save it. I'm not gonna put anything in here for now, um, but you'll see that section has been added. So this is a basic overview of this new template and the new homepage, the responsive homepage that we've created and the tools that go with it. We hope it's helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please let us know.